at all. I should look like he fresh off the goddamn plane. I should. Fresh off the guard stage. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and. I mean, damn. No, your eyes are playing tricks on you. That was indeed Diddy admitting to waking up in bed with Kevin Hart and Usher. A lot of new, controversial tea has come to light about Sean Combs and many have raised question marks over the sexuality he says he is in public. Even Kevin Hart can't believe what Diddy is saying out loud and revealing to the public. Rumors about Diddy being gay and having affairs with several Hollywood superstars have always permeated the industry, but this is some next level stuff. Diddy doesn't seem to be wanting to stay in the closet anymore, telling Kevin Hart that he looks beautiful in this Instagram live. And then she's like, nah, it's enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I get it. You got it. You look time. beautiful. It was a I great got move. You know, great I throw that product in there. Diddy hosted a dirty money party where he invited Kevin Hart and Usher and hit up Kevin a lot in a very subtle manner. We don't blame him. Kevin is one good looking dude. But Diddy seems to be the sort of person that has seen the way the public has interpreted his actions and he's kind of let them run with it. Maybe because they're absolutely right. One example is this time when he called Kevin into the bathroom but said no homo as soon as the camera panned to him. Listen, listen. Uh, Yo, come hey. in here, no homo, no homo. We gonna get some ladies in here, though, but we gonna have, we gonna make sure our breakfast is fresh. No, say pause, 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 pause. 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 Don't pause. acknowledge pause. this, there's nothing to do with you, nothing to do with you. Diddy did say no homo, which usually means what it sounds like in bro code. But that might just not apply to the man because he does, in fact, have a history of a lot of homo, and the way he said it in the clip sounded incredibly suspicious, almost as if he wanted it but couldn't say it. In this next clip, Diddy takes it one step further by asking Kevin to talk about him as if he was a baby. Matter of fact, Kevin, come here, Kevin, Kevin, I want you to talk about me as a baby, come here. Diddy seems to be growing in confidence with his sexuality with each news report these days, and that was exactly the case when he kissed B-R-O-N-N-Y James without his consent. Hot Hold on. Shouts out to Diddy sons who look nothing like him. Oh, come on, man. Come on, dude. Nobody want to see that shit. We got a lot of stars in the building right now. Provoking an angry reaction from Kevin Hart himself. Is the jealousy we sense from Kevin Hart? Is the critically acclaimed comedian also a sucker for Sean Combs' little ditty? It could certainly be a possibility, but we'll leave that up to you to analyze. Kevin Hart even proceeded to hit Diddy after that, telling him that he should work out and work on his body. Are these two ramping up the heat in the room or what? It's pretty obvious that there's something going on between the two, and it looks very likely to also involve Usher considering the way Diddy talks about him at the start of the video. But all of this is not that unusual when you consider how Diddy has acted in the past and the evidence surrounding his seemingly hidden sexuality. Back in the day, when he was just a baby-faced teen signed to Lafay's records, he was taken under the wing of none other than P. Diddy himself. Sounds like a dream come true, right? Well, hold on to your hats, because it turns out there was more than just mentorship going on between these two. According to the cringeworthy interview that P. Diddy did with Kevin Hart where he said Usher and he used to wake up in the same bed, it seems like things got pretty cozy between the mentor and mentee. Apparently, Usher moved all the way to the Big Apple to shack up with Diddy when he was just 14 years old. And let's just say that some eyebrow-raising activity were going down in Diddy's household. We're not exactly sure what kind of mentoring was happening, but it's safe to say that it wasn't just about making hit records. Another video involving Usher and Diddy has been making rounds on the internet and, yeah, we'll let you experience this one first. It's time with it. Breathe it in. Yeah, they yours when you go see this for you. This ain't for nobody else but you. You take that time, boy. That's just Diddy amping Usher up for his next performance, but what's really revealing is what he says after that. Hold up, hold up, hold up, my ears must be playing tricks on me. Did you just hear the latest rumors about what Usher was getting up to in the kitchen? And you thought people were exaggerating when they said things got freaky when he was living with Diddy. Despite all the whispers and speculation, Usher has been pretty tight-lipped about what really went down during his time under Diddy's wing. But, during a juicy interview with the one and only Howard Stern, Usher finally gave us a little taste of what we've been craving. He may not have spilled all the tea, but Usher dropped some major hints about just how close he and Diddy really were. Let's just say there was a whole lot of mentoring going on, and it wasn't just about music. Oh no, honey, things got steamy, and we're not talking about the kitchen. Apparently, it wasn't until after Usher's album dropped that he found out about a certain child sipping champagne in the VIP section of a club with Diddy. And guess who that child was? You guessed it, Usher himself. Talk about a wild ride. 
Now, Usher hasn't exactly come out and spilled the tea about what exactly went down between him and Diddy, but he did let it slip that some pretty questionable things happened while he was staying at Diddy's crib. And when Usher graced the cover of Essence magazine, he couldn't help but drop a few hints about his past with Diddy and just how much he looks up to Diddy. Something that you should know about me is that I'm a businessman before I'm anything else, Usher revealed. Look at the capabilities of Martha Stewart or Russell Simmons or Sean Puffy Combs or even 50 Cent with G-Unit. Look at what they did with their licensing. This is my opportunity to do the same. Clothing and shoes are kind of the standard nowadays, so I'm trying to figure out how I can come at it from a different angle. Watches, clothes, perfume, cologne, facial and acne products. There are so many possibilities. And everything was going smoothly until the interviewer brought up the elephant in the room. Usher's time living with Diddy. That's when things got real interesting. Despite all the juicy rumors and speculation, Usher suddenly got super tight-lipped about his past with Diddy. Normally a total chatterbox, Usher was suddenly as restrained as a Hollywood starlet at a red carpet event. He said, I want to save some SH for my book one day. He said, I'll put it this way, there was a lot of sec. Oh boy, now, before y'all start blaming Usher's parents for not protecting him from Diddy's clutches, let me tell you what's really going on. According to Usher himself, his parents had no idea what was going down while he was living with Diddy. But that doesn't mean they were just gonna sit back and let Diddy get away with it. Mary J. Blige spilled the tea that Usher's mom actually tried to get back at Diddy. She was not gonna let him get away with messing with her baby boy. But wait, it gets even crazier. Back in November of 2022, there were reports that Kim Porter's former stylist was about to drop a tell-all book on Diddy. And according to the stylist, Diddy slept with different men on multiple occasions. What? But that's not even the wildest part. The stylist also claimed that Usher's mom confronted Diddy about allegedly being intimate with Usher. And just when we thought things couldn't get any messier, there's talk of a video. Allegedly, Kim Porter had footage of Usher and Diddy getting it on. But before we get too excited, we gotta keep it real and mention that Kim died under mysterious circumstances. And when her house was robbed, two laptops containing the alleged video were stolen. And it looks like there's a whole lot of smoke surrounding Diddy and his alleged exploits on the down low. I mean, let's not forget about Orlando Brown spilling some major tea about Diddy's alleged secret life. The former Disney star revealed that Diddy had been smashing him and other young men. Wait, what? I don't know about you, but that sounds pretty disturbing to me. And it's not just Orlando who's making these claims. There have been other whispers and rumors about Diddy's sexuality for years. Jaguar Wright has also made some pretty shocking admissions. According to Jaguar, she knows a lawyer who walked in on Diddy and Christopher Williams in a compromising position. I'm talking about Felicio, honey. And get this, the door wasn't even locked. When the lawyer walked in, she saw Christopher Williams down on his knees, doing his thing while Diddy just sat there, enjoying the ride. Now, I don't know about you, but that sounds like some serious scandalous behavior to me. But wait, it gets even more disturbing. According to Jaguar, they didn't even stop when the lawyer walked in. Honey, that is just plain disrespectful. But if you thought that was bad, wait until you hear what Diddy's ex-bodyguard Jean Deal had to say. Dean, watch the door, don't let nobody come through here. And I said I watched the door. If I watched the door and him and a man ran out naked, and I said that, I ain't nobody told me that. He confirmed that whatever Jaguar said was nothing but the truth. So there's a whole lot of evidence about what Diddy really gets up to at times, and honestly, it sounds a little creepy. That being said, it's not a surprise that it's coming to light now the steamy details of the relationship between Kevin Hart and Usher have been revealed. Only time will tell how Diddy's story unfolds now. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching and goodbye.